Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining CJ, that is me, for my first Monday Money Moment. Today's topic is going to be the stimulus check, but I do want to go over a little bit about the intention of the Monday Money Moment. Okay. So the intention of this series is to call individuals to be more intentional about their thoughts and the time that they spend with their money and their finances. I know a lot of people don't think about money until it's time to pay for something until they get paid, okay? But we definitely want to set aside a weekly time to take out those finances and just see, you know, where am I right now? Have I saved enough? Is this bill too high? Well, where, where can I cut expenses? Where can I increase income? Okay. Because as you know, that's my mantra. Either you cut expenses or you increase income, one of the two. But you definitely don't stay at the level that you are currently if there's a need. If you want to do something differently, you're going to have to start doing things differently, right? So today, let's go ahead and hop into today's talk. Uh, I do want to give a disclaimer though real quick. I'm not an accountant. I am I am a certified uh, financial coach, counselor, etc. But I am not uh, a CPA. I'm not a tax professional, so I can't talk about certain tax implications or anything like that. I'm not an attorney either. So when I get into talking about powers of attorney or wills and things like that, again, I'm not giving you any legal advice. I'm just simply offering you tips and things that I believe uh, is helpful throughout your financial journey, okay? So four quick things I want you to do with your stimulus check. The first thing I want you to do is cut it in half, okay? Not physically cut it in half, but cut the amount in half. Oh, I do want to give another disclaimer, guys. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place this morning. First disclaimer, second disclaimer I want to give. The first one was I'm not an attorney, I'm not a CPA, et cetera. I'm not a, um, any of those things to you. The second disclaimer I want to give is for the purposes of my talk today, I'm not talking to individuals who have an immediate need. If you need food in your home, go buy that food with your check. If you need to pay a utility bill and they are not being lenient or they are trying to cut it off, go pay that bill. Okay, it makes zero sense to save money when you have an unmet need. Okay, so those are my two disclaimers for today. So four things I want you to do with your check. First thing is divide that amount in half. So for the purpose of this talk, we're going to use that flat $1,200. We're not going to get into the $500 supplemental amount that some individuals will get per child. So starting off with $600, okay? Of that $600, I would like for you to create a will or a doable power of attorney, okay? Simply put, everyone needs a will. Everyone at some point in their life, not that's an everyone, but at some point in your life, some people may become incapacitated. And maybe you can't make decisions on your own. You need to appoint someone who can make those decisions for you. And you do that via a document called a power of attorney or POA, as you may um, hear that document referred to. The will is basic. You may think you don't have anything, but you do. Whatever you are sitting on right now, your couch, <laughs> your love seat, your kitchen table, that is something that you own. That is an asset that a person is going to have to decide its fate if something were to happen to you. So you definitely want to establish a will. Term life insurance policy. If you have a 10-year-old child, you have to think about it. If I were to pass away in three years, that child is 13, that child is still school age. What is going to happen to them? Are their needs going to be met? So you definitely want to go and seek out a term life insurance policy until your, your minor children are of age to take care of themselves, okay? That may be 18 of you. That may be 21. However long you can get a term life insurance policy with your children or even your spouse as a named beneficiary on that policy, okay? And lastly, we're going to talk about spending a little bit of that money. Everybody wants to buy something for themselves whenever you get a windfall. That is more than fine. I just encourage you to make sure it is something that's going to last. I often discourage people from buying clothes. Uh, I discourage people from taking trips a lot of times with, with, with windfalls. And I'll say this too. This is for people who who take trips often, okay? You don't need a stimulus check to allow you to go to Florida or to do something fairly local. But for individuals who are looking to literally get out of the country <laughs> and they want to take, you know, let's say, I don't know, $2,000 to do that, I discourage that sort of thing. Those are things that you want to save for opposed to using a windfall. For a windfall, you definitely want to be more practical in nature with how you go about spending that money. So again, create a nest egg. If you already have a nest egg, drop the extra money in there. It's fine. Not going anywhere. Still in your name, right? 
create a will and a durable power of attorney, grab a term life insurance policy if you don't have one, and lastly, you want to spend a little bit of that money on yourself. That may be um, buying a new winter coat for your kids. Maybe you need some new shoes, whatever the case may be. Go ahead and splurge a little bit. But like I said, don't get too crazy with the splurge. And you definitely want to make sure you're not going overboard. And technically, all you have is $600 because, remember, you took away half of the stimulus money at first, right? All right. So thanks, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Hopefully, everybody is doing good on today. I should have asked that at the beginning. But as these videos progress, I'm sure they'll become more and more refined. So thanks, guys. Again, ask me any questions in the comments, and I'll answer them as I see them. Thanks. Bye-bye.